The first step to creating box plots is to first list all the data in order from least to greatest. So let's list all the spooky house waiting times from least to greatest. Now let's do the same thing for pirate plunge. Now this is an easy spot to mess up because you might miss a data point and get something out of order. Let me show you a trick to always get it right. If you press stat on your calculator and then enter, these are called list. We're going to type all the spooky house waiting times into list one. Now push the over button to get to list two and type all the pirate plunge waiting times. Now press the stat button again. Go down to sort A. This is for sort ascending. And after we push it, if we press second and list one, we can actually sort all of list one. Now we'll press stat again and do the same thing for list two. Now if we press stat and edit, we can see our data has been sorted from least to greatest. Now it's time to find the five number summary. Let's start with Spooky House. We need to find the median, so let's count in from the edges to the very middle number. The middle number is between these two 15s, so the average of two 15s is another 15. So here's the median. Since we lined our data up with Pirate Plunge, we can see that the median of Pirate Plunge is 12. Now we need to find quartile 1. To do that, we're going to find the median of the lower half of the data. It's this 12. And for Pirate Plunge, it's the 9. Now let's find quartile 3 the same way. Quartile 3 is the 19 and the 15. The minimum waiting time for both rides is 7 minutes, and the maximum waiting time for Spooky House is 38 minutes and 34 minutes for Pirate Plunge. Now let's make our box plot. For Pirate Plunge, our five number summary is the minimum, quartile 1, median, quartile 3, and the maximum, so 7, 9, 12, 15, and 34. Start by drawing small vertical lines at the quartile 1, median, and quartile 3 values. So 9, 12, and 15. Now connect those lines. Next, let's graph the minimum and maximum. The minimum waiting time was 7 minutes, and we're going to draw a small vertical line. And the maximum wait time was 34 minutes. We'll draw another small vertical line. Now we'll connect those vertical lines to the box with whiskers. There's our box and whisker plot for Pirate Plunge. Now let's do one for Spooky House. So we'll start with Quartile 1, Median, and Quartile 3 again. Quartile 1 is 12 in this case, which matches the median of Pirate Plunge. The median is 15, which matches Quartile 3 of Spooky House. And Quartile 3 is 19. The minimum waiting time is again 7 and the maximum waiting time is 38. Now these are box plots, but what we're going to draw is actually modified box plots. To make those, we're going to check for outliers and modify these box plots if necessary. So to check for outliers, we're going to use the 1.5 IQR rule. So for Pirate Plunge, the IQR, the inner quartile range, was 15 minus 9, so 6. And if we multiply that by 1.5, we get 9. So here's what we do. We're going to take quartile 1 and subtract 9. So quartile 1 is 7, minus 9 is negative 2. Since there was no waiting times of less than negative 2, um, which is impossible, we have no lower outliers. Now let's check for upper outliers. To do that, we'll take quartile 3 and add 1.5 IQRs, the 9. In this case, we get... 15 plus 9, which is 24. So it looks like we actually do have an upper outlier. This 34 is an upper outlier. So we're going to go to the box plot and we're going to replace that value of 34 with an asterisk. Now what we need to do is erase the whisker all the way down to our highest non-outlier value, which in this case appears to be 22. So we're going to erase the whisker all the way to about here. There we go, now we have a modified box plot. 
Let's do the same outlier check for Spooky House. So for Spooky House, the IQR is 19 minus 12, so it's 7. 1.5 times 7 is 10.5. So when we subtract 10.5 from quartile 1, we get 1.5. Since our minimum waiting time was 7 minutes, we see nothing is lower than 1.5, so we don't have any lower outliers. For upper outliers, we're going to take quartile 3 and add 10.5 to it, which gives us 25.5. We actually have an upper outlier, the 38. So our highest value that's not an outlier is a 24. So we'll replace the 38 with an asterisk, and we'll erase the whisker all the way down to 24. Now we've modified both box plots to clearly show the outliers. Before we move on to part B, let me show you how to do this on the calculator. We've already input the data into list 1 and list 2. If you press 2nd and Y equals, you get to the stat plot menu. Let's push enter on the first one. We're going to turn the plot on, and we're going to go over to this fourth option right here. You actually have two box plot options. The first one's a modified box plot, and the second one's a regular box plot. So it says, what do you want to make your box plot with? List one, so we'll leave that. How many times do you want to use list one? Just once, so leave that as a one. And you can actually choose which mark for your outliers. We'll just leave it at the default. Now when I press zoom and nine, I have my box plot. And that actually matches the spooky house box plot right here. Now let's get the pirate plunge box plot on there. If you press second and Y equals again, go down to plot two. You're gonna turn plot two on, choose modified box plot, and you need to change this to list two. So press second and the number two. Now when we press zoom nine again, there's our other box plot for pirate plunge. Now suppose you used your calculator to graph these, and now you want to transfer it to the paper. Here's a useful function. If you press trace, you can use the arrows to scroll around and jump from each of the values. So here's the minimum of Spooky House, quartile 1, median, quartile 3, um, maximum that's not an outlier, and then there's the true maximum. And then you can go down and check all the data for Pirate Plunge as well. Now in part A we found outliers, so we're going to say yes. Both Spooky House and Pirate Plunge have upper outliers at 38 and 34 minutes, respectively. Both outliers occurred on September 5th, so I'm thinking Labor Day is a weekday holiday that occurs in early September, so it may account for the reason there was higher wait times on September 5th. Before we go, let me show you one more way to find the five number summary from your calculator. After inputting the data into the list, you can press STAT, go over to Calculate, and 1VAR STATS. Right now, List 1 is set as the default, so we'll go down to Calculate and press Enter. If we push down, here's the five number summary. The minimum, quartile 1, median, quartile 3, and the maximum. You also have other useful information, like the mean right at the top. You can do the same thing for Pirate Plunge by pressing STAT, go to Calculate, 1 VAR STATS, but change this to List 2 by pressing 2nd and then the number 2. There's your data for Pirate Plunge. Like this video? Check out my book, The Ultimate AP Statistics Practice Book. It's got 100 problems, all with videos just like this. You can pick it up on Amazon.com.